Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for um, Pisces. This is going to be for the first half of your July from the 1st to 15th. So we're going to take a look at your guys' current over energies during this time. We're going to see what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect. Um, and then we'll finish off the read to see what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. So this could be anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So... Um, Oh, and this could be in uh, any replacements too, since this could be in anything. Um, so uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations to your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below okay so uh, pisces let's get started over energies for pisces what is surrounding pisces what does pisces need to know for the first half of their July, from the 1st to the 15th. Tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces need to know during this time? Over energy for Pisces. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, and then we have the Four of Cups. I feel like you guys are working really, really, really hard regarding your career, regarding your money here, but I feel like you're feeling like it's not enough. I feel like you're looking for more, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. You know, it could be a possibility that, you know, you're, work, you're doing all this work, but you're not getting paid enough or that you're not enjoying it, okay? Um... Seems like a, some of you guys are trying to find your life's purpose, okay? We have the Three of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys might be reunited with, with family during this time here. So, um, could be a situation that, you know, uh, you know, maybe you haven't seen these family members in a long time, okay? Yeah, it seems like there's an energy of you guys reuniting and you guys celebrating, okay? I do feel like it has been quite some time that you've seen some of these people here, Pisces, all right? We got the Nine of Swords in the Sun. Leo energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are overcoming stress and anxiety here. I feel like you guys are just living your life right now and just taking things as it comes and trying not to stress out. You know, if you guys, you know, this is really interesting. Because with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, this is telling me that your finances are really great. But I feel like you guys are looking for more. Like I said, I feel like you guys might be searching for your life's purpose here. Okay? You know, whatever you're doing right now, it's not it. Okay? So, uh, with the Sun, Leo energy, um, tell me about the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? We have the Ace of Wands. The uh, Four of Cups. And then we have the Four of Swords. Seems like you guys are trying to figure out what the next thing is here for you. So, you know, what, you know, I feel like in terms of your money, I feel like if you guys are pretty safe. Let's say if you guys did take a risk and wanted to start your own business, I feel like it would work out. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I feel like, I feel like you need to sleep on, sleep on things a lot. Yeah, I feel like you need to sleep on things and try to try and figure things out here. Okay, um, so I feel like you know with the fours here, you know there's a lot of st stability in your life right now. Tell me about the three of cups. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Ten of Pentacles here, and the Hangman, Piscean energy. So I feel like you guys are in this like really lighthearted energy. You guys are having trying to have a good time okay trying to enjoy life i feel like you guys are surrendering control to the divine and the universe just allowing things to be interestingly enough this nine of swords in this deck kind of looks like the wheel of fortune okay so uh piscean energy right there with the hangman there you are right there nine of swords we have the seven of pentacles the sun here and the six of wands some of you guys are public figures it could be that you, or it could be an indication that you guys are being recognized for the work that you're doing here okay so whatever investment that you invested into 
um, this work situation, I feel like it's paying off because I feel like a lot of you guys have been working here for a very long time. Okay, um, let's see what else we have here. It seems like you're about to walk away from a work situation. Like I said, I feel like you're looking for something better, looking for something more, looking for your life's purpose here. Okay, uh, have some advice here for Pisces regarding their uh, situation for the first half of their July from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know here? Okay, we have a Two of Wands and the Page of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Lots of pages here. There's this energy of wanting to start all over again. This is, uh, so I feel like destiny, the universe is helping you out. So I feel like, you know, you're really undecided whether to, whether to pursue something new here. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like you're, you, right now, currently, you're, exploring all your options, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your research here. Uh, but I feel like it's like, do I continue working at this, uh, at this nine to five and just go as far as I could or look for new opportunities, look for a new job or start a new business here? So I feel like you're weighing in the pros and the cons here. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the page of wands here and the wheel of fortune. It seems like you're destined to do something that you're really passionate about. You know, I feel like what you're doing right now I feel like it's good, you know, it's it's not what you're looking, it's not, you know, what you're excited about, but it's good, uh, but it seems like you're looking for something more exciting, uh, Pisces. Tell me about the two of wands here. Why is the two of wands here? Okay, we have the seven of wands. Tell me about this uh, page of swords, and then we have the five of pentacles here. So, um, there is a worry that, you know, that you would lose money here. Or that you would go broke or poor. The thing is, I really have I really have a good feeling about this working out really well for you if you do pursue this. Two of Pentacles here, and we have the Death card. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it seems like you're looking for other opportunities, or that you're seeking other options here, or that you're exploring every possible avenue that you can. You know, I feel like this is this. You know, I feel like this is leading you down like a rabbit hole. So I feel like spirit is asking you to stop that, okay? And just go for what you want. You, you are in that Knight of Wands energy there. So that, that's the energy that goes for what they want. Yeah, okay, Page of Wands. And then we have the world. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of you guys could be closing out a cycle here, and I feel like it has something to do with work. It's a situation that you've been in for a very long time, and like I keep getting here, is that you're looking for more. Yeah, it seems like you are glowing up here. There's an energy of maturing. There's a So it seems like you're outgrowing something here, and you're ready for something new. Yeah, you're ready for something new, okay? So Pisces, this is looking really good for you guys. If this was helpful, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.